Welcome to Webstar Press. You know, commits should be perfect. But if you are in middle of some work on a repository and your colleague calls you to switch branch, this is when Git Stash comes in handy because you don't want to commit half done work and you still want to help your colleague. So I'm in main branch. See so Git branch main. I make some changes. Let's say I added some numbers and saved it. And then let's switch branch. Get checkout designer. It won't allow me to switch branch. It will tell me to commit changes first or use git stash. So let's use git stash. It said saved working directory and index state. But the changes that I made here are gone. Basically saved temporarily instead of gone. Git stash is a command in git that temporarily stores changes made to your working directory so you can work on a clean working directory. It's useful for moving to another branch to work on something else without committing a half done work on your current branch. So now I can switch to another branch. So let's try git checkout developer and now I am in another branch. Git branch developer. Okay, let's go back. Git branch main. No. Git checkout main. Git branch. Now we're in main branch. Clear. Okay, so we are back. Now we can use git stash apply or pop. Apply applies most recent stash, but Pop applies most recent stash and removes it from the stash list. So let's apply pop. And now you see those numbers are back. So usually you will only need git stash and then git stash pop. But you can do other things as well like git stash list to see stashes list. Let's create stashes. Get stash and let's do more changes. Get stash, save, get stash, layer, get stash, list. Stash at the rate of zero, stash at the rate of, these are the indexes. And now we can use get stash, apply, stash at the rate, specific index clear it stash list we can drop specific stash as well git stash drop stash at zero git stash list we had three stashes now we have two to clear the stash Use command git stash clear. And now in the list we have nothing. List is empty. There are other commands as well, such as git stash with flag u. You can stash untracked files using u flag. And to include ignored files in stash along with other changes, we can use git stash dash a. We can use a flag. But most probably you will only need git stash and git stash pop. So git stash is a powerful tool for managing changes without committing them, allowing you to switch tasks and branches without losing your work. Okay, if you like this video, please leave a like. To watch more tips on GitHub, subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon. See you in the next one.